Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm quite nervous about. I'm going to be challenging one of my biggest fear foods, which is lasagna. Uh, obviously, disclaimer, fear foods are so different for every single person. And so what my fear food is might not be yours and yours might not be mine. Um, anyway, so yeah, lasagna is a huge fear food for mine. I haven't had it in probably five years throughout my um, struggles with my eating disorder. So today I'm going to be challenging it. Um, I didn't want to make a homemade one because I felt like that would be very scary seeing everything that goes into it and having like a huge portion and you know, blah, 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 blah. So it was just easier to get a frozen one. So I've got this one. Um, and honestly, off the bat, I'm very intimidated. Like if I take this off, this is large. This is as big as my head. So already I'm freaking out about it. But you know, you gotta eat it to beat it. And yeah, so let's heat it up. It says to pierce the film with a fork and cook on high for six minutes. So let's do that. Okay. Ignore how dirty our microwave is. One, two, three, four, five, six, and begin. While that's in the microwave, I just wanted to talk a bit about fear foods and that kind of thing. Obviously, they're very scary and eating them is really hard. So some tips I've kind of found is one, making a fair food jar. So you just write literally all your fair foods on little pieces of paper and chuck them in a jar. And then every week I lucky dip out two or three or you know, however many you want to do and challenge them in that week. I feel like it makes it a lot, not easier, but it's like, I'm not just choosing. It's like I haven't chosen to eat ice cream, for example. And that makes, like saying I've chosen to eat ice cream kind of makes me feel guilty. This is if I pick out two random, it's like, okay, I didn't choose to do this. I have to do it to beat my eating disorder. Um, coming off that is like the fact that if you want to beat your eating disorder, you have to eat these foods, face these fears, do the opposite actions. And for the, that means eating foods you find really scary. I feel like there's like a really bad connotation about healthy foods and unhealthy foods. In reality, all food is just food. Everyone just like places negative emotions and beliefs on them. In fact, foods like broccoli would be unhealthy if that's all you ate and that was your diet. Like every food in balance is super healthy for you. So just eating a mix of everything is really, really good for you, obviously. Eating a food once is all good. But in order to actually beat something, you need to continuously challenge it. Just eating it once isn't going to erase the fear. So me eating this lasagna, it's terrifying, but eating it right now is not going to get rid of my fear. Uh, but it is a right, good step in the right direction. I think just like, obviously it's so much easier said than done, but just trying to, you know, do it. Like once you're, I really don't have any tips for when it's like you're in the, like in the moment eating. I guess I usually watch like a YouTube video or something on Netflix to distract myself. Um, so I'm just like not completely focused on it. And doing things like right before and right after eating always helps. Like not exercise, not exercise, not movement. Just like right afterwards going and doing some schoolwork or doing some coloring or just something that will change the focus and get you doing something else. So you're not just sitting there thinking about what you've done. Apart from that, just know that it's not going to change your body overnight. You're not going to wake up and suddenly have gained like a ton of weight because you ate a fair food. And for some people, like, like I said before, fair foods are so subjective. Like I remember, oh, the real Rapunzel on Instagram. She was talking about how two of her safe foods were Oreos and Kit Kats. And two of her biggest fair foods were hummus and raisins. And she had a friend whose safe foods were hummus and raisins, but was absolutely terrified of Oreos and Kit Kat. And I was like, oh, I'm terrified of Oreos and Kit Kat too and stuff. But for her, they were safe. Because fair foods don't make sense. It's just foods. Like, 
they really, it, <laughs> thinking about it, it's just so weird that we with an eating disorder are scared of food. It's such a weird concept. But you know, eating disorders are weird in general. I hope this wasn't just a ramble and I hope it did kind of help, but I just heard the microwave. So let's go and get the lasagna. Holy moly. Here it is. Oh my gosh, this is really scary. Okay, let's do this guys. Okay, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna watch some YouTube while I eat this, but I'll just take our first bite together. Oh my gosh. Whew, okay. Three, two, one. Whoa. Wow. That's crazy. Oh my god, I'm shaking. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Which I feel like is any beach cover up of this or this. Oh my gosh, this feels so weird to be doing this. Lasagna is seriously something I never thought I would eat again. It was just one of those foods that I was like, oh, that's just not for me. I can't eat that. But like, you can and should eat all types of foods. I just want you to know that, that it's just crazy. Like, I haven't tasted these flavors together in such a long time. Oh my god. Me? Oh, okay, this is literally insane and like the best part is it's like obviously i'm absolutely terrified about this and i'm just trying to be brave for you guys but like i'm allowing myself to taste it and it actually tastes really good which i hate admitting <laughs> I don't even know why I restricted this for so long. Like, it's just carbs, protein, veggie. It's literally the same as eating a stir fry, but I've just demonized it and now I'm doing it. Pushing ourselves outside of our comfort zone for me to. Last bite, guys. I'm actually really proud of myself. I do not think I can do that. Oh my god, I just ate a lasagna. I ate a lasagna. That is a sentence I did not think I would ever say again. Okay. I ate a lasagna. This still does not sound right. That is something I really didn't think I would say. I ate a lasagna. Cool. Okay. It's not the big of a deal. It is a big deal, but it doesn't have to be. I'm just gonna. Whew. Okay. Uh, see you guys in a bit. It's been a couple of hours since I finished eating the lasagna. And honestly, I'm kind of still in a state of like, did I do that? And also, I'm still kind of riding the wave like the high wave i feel like for me when i face a fear food in the moment it's really scary and right afterwards i feel quite guilty but then like five ish minutes afterwards i start to feel really proud of myself and i have this kind of high of like i did that i did a fear food i'm still alive nothing bad's happened like i haven't gained loads of weight and i feel like quite good and then i feel like it's later on like tomorrow morning I wake up and be like oh shoot I ate a lasagna okay I did that and I'll start to the guilt will really start to sink in which I don't know if that's the same for everyone I guess guilt is just so different like for some people you might just feel guilty straight away and then the next day feel proud of yourself but 
it's a hard cycle. It's definitely getting easier to deal with it. Like I don't have such like strong, intense feelings anymore. Like I still get like, I know I'm gonna feel a bit anxious about what's happened tonight, like tomorrow when I think about it, but I'm definitely getting better at just like moving on with my life because in reality, I've eaten lasagna. There's nothing I can do about it now. Like it's happened, it's gone. Like I can't go back in time and change it. So instead of just worrying about it, I can just accept it and move on and just be proud that that was one step closer to freedom from my eating disorder. Anyway, I hope this was helpful or you enjoyed it or any of the above. Um, I really challenge you to just, just try a fair food, even just make a fair food jar, even just writing down your fair foods, like just taking the first step. Um, I really challenge you to try fair food. If you do, I would love for you to comment it below and tell me um, so we can hype each other up. And I love you all so much. I'm so proud of you and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.